good day. This is Br. Caleb, PhD, and my PhD stands for Post Hole Digger. Yes, folks, I earned my degree in the Desert University, the School of Hard Knocks. Amazing when you open the news today and discover that I rather pay prostitutes than taxes. It's hostage to the devil destroying our faith. A scary prospect with Trump's choices, Br'er Caleb. As I prepared for this video, the word came out that besides the scary choices of Donald Trump putting himself before everyone else, you should wonder what else he learned from his mentor. Even Jesus paid more taxes than Trump. Yes, folks, it is for real. Trump believes that Trump, Trump, Trump and Trump alone is a special individual. But where did he get it from? He had somebody that motivated him. Like all of us, we all get inspired by somebody. If the lust is money is driving you, then you wonder what else drives this man to appoint a new Supreme Court Justice. His only motivation is himself. Only the little people pay taxes. It's confirmed. It's not only Mrs. Helms that thinks so. It seems to be that Mr. Trump picks up the slogan, the little people. Let's f find out who those little people are. Folks, I am addressing this in particular to my friends of the body of Christ. It seems apparent that many people are taken by the tremendous promises of a man that lies for a living that bullshits you. Yes, folks, it's hard to accept, but being bullshitted, that means that you have been mud that is thrown in your face. And some people that had a farm like myself, they understand that it's called manure, shit that is thrown in your face. Because you are a believer, you are part of the body of Christ. But what does that really mean? Where did he learn this kind of behavior? Because somebody that thinks only of himself must have had an example. His only motivation is himself. Where does it come from? You see, there are some people that do understand the concept that the lust of money is abided and is praying to Satan the first and foremost individual that only thought about himself. He was called Lucifer, a fallen angel, and he tries to destroy this world. And the only indicator that we got, or not the only, but one of the indicators, is the lust of mammon, the lust of money. And if that is the only thing that drives you, my friends, then you got to wonder, if you appoint that man to be your driver in the driving seat as a president, what kind of accidents are you going to get? Why is this man so beholden to himself and appointing justices that he wants? Have you ever wondered where this come from? came from? Roy Cohn was a lawyer and a former Department of Justice prosecutor. He's featured among a and &E documentary series, The Trump Dynasty. Due to the personal and professional relationship he had with Donald Trump, your president, learn more about Cohn and his mentorship of the current president. Folks, you got a major problem. And it's called Mr. Donald Trump, the con artist. You see, the problem is, when you get so bombarded with one lie after another and you are too stupid to dance before the devil, the devil, folks, wake up and smell the roses because you are in a major disaster mode. You think that whoever promises you the moon, he will be the best. 
But Roy Cohn has been proven a lawyer that only lied for himself and made sure that he couldn't care less and Trump was his protege. Trump learned from the best. Folks, I hate to tell you, you are being lied to and have been lied to for a long time. It took me a long time to understand that what I was told, PMS is not a women's disease, but PMS stands for politics, money, and for what? S for spirituality. And Trump is using all of them to control, just to maintain something that does not belong to him. He is not a leader. He is a man that is absolved. It's totally, uh, it's actually pure ignorance because all it is is Trump, the narcissist, the man that loves himself more than he loves, than Jesus loves him. Because I made that statement before. I don't want to make him ridiculous, but he ridicules himself with his actions. Folks, we all make mistakes. I've made many of my own. And I tell you, we don't need help from somebody else to make those mistakes. But when we are confronted with them and we continue fighting, lying, cheating, screaming, then I wonder why is there such a resentment to be honest, to be open? Why can you not admit what you did and then say, listen, I want to have the Supreme Court to be this way or this person that is being discussed at the moment. I want her on because it benefits me. It has nothing to do with weight versus whatever. It has something to do with Mr. Trump because he knows he's going to be roasted. And before he gets roasted, he wants to have his people on board. Folks, open your eyes. I know it is hard to hear. I'm a foreigner for most of you guys. I understand that, but I do have a right to talk. And I am warning you. My PhD came because I went through the desert of hard knocks. The desert, folks, it wasn't fun. But sometimes it's the only way that your eyes are opened. Mine were. And after a while, I start to understand that a lot of people seem to com be controlled or want to be controlled by satanic forces that are liars and cheaters, even if they are in the politics even if they are running money, even if they are in the spiritual realm being religion. It doesn't matter where you come from. But if you're speaking controlled by money and the lust of money, folks, I don't care what you call yourself. You got to pay attention to the fact that my Lord is looking for something else. He's looking for people that the light shines through them. And that light has nothing to do with us being good and giving millions or billions of whatever we're doing in order to show who we are. You see, we show who we are when we humble ourselves before the Lord and say, Father, I need help. Father, forgive me. I screwed up. See, now the light of God can shine. And when that light shines in us, guess what happens? We will be forgiven. The Father will rejoice and he is at praise. This is a right man. He is a true servant. You see, that is what we are. And bringing this video to you means also serving Abba Father. I am from that other kingdom. What about you? Tough times never last, but tough people do. Folks, remember that. We are from a different kingdom, not from this kingdom. And if you have fallen down on your face and fell for it, but open your eyes and acknowledge that there is more, more, more with the Father because all the gold, all the silver belongs to him. And Jesua HaMashiach has said away, he said, 
He was the way, the truth, and the life. And Father, He, the Father, said, follow that path. That doesn't mean we make him of God. We follow the path that honors God. That is what we're doing. And when we do that and understand that and make that our personal experience of learning to walk the walk of God, we humble ourselves and say, praise God. Thank you. My Father shall provide. There's nothing wrong with having money, but the money has to be honoring God in everything I do. And when we learn this hard lesson, folks, we also learn that time is coming soon. We are held responsible. And maybe we are the last or the first generation that knows that we are destroying this world. But we might be the last generation that can do something about it. Are you going to help me? Change this world, set an example, and let's do it together. For God is the glory. And remember, tough times never last, but tough people do. God bless you. Bye for now.